Good morning and God bless. Welcome to our devotion time. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the day. We thank you for the blessings of this day and the way we can share those blessings with others. And Lord, we ask that you will help us in that sharing. Lord, we are sometimes blind to the needs of others, blind to the needs of our community, the real needs, not just the things that we want to do, but Lord, the real opportunities you have given us to to share your goodness, to share your love, to be with those who are lonely, to be with those who are struggling, and Lord, to celebrate with those who just need someone else in their life who understands their journey of faith, to rejoice in the Lord together. And Lord, we pray that as we come into a time where we can rejoice one with another, that we, we take every opportunity, that we, in those opportunities, res respect each other in new ways, respect the journey we've been through, and Lord, that we are able to pray and engage with those who have become lost, those who have stepped away from their community, their friends, their family, and have become very isolated. And so, Lord, we pray that we will we will have eyes to see, hearts to engage, and Lord, the the will and strength in our own bodies to do what we can, even if it is to bow our head and pray. But Lord, also inspire us not to leave ourselves to our own lowest common denominator. Sometimes we take the easy path, that amount of work for you that satisfies us and not your will. And so, Lord, challenge us and uplift us to that challenge. Lord, challenge us and show us what we are capable of when we make our, our walk, our way with you. All this in Christ we pray. Amen. So today we turn to the uh, book of Exodus as we make our way, turning to Exodus, here we are, chapter 16 at verse 29. See, for the Lord hath given you the Sabbath, therefore he giveth you on the sixth day the bread of two days. Abide ye every man in his place. Let no man go out of his place on the seventh day. When you look at what God has given you and why God has given it to you, God doesn't just give us the resources we have for, um, for keeping things going the way we want things to go. I mean, if we had our way, if we had it the way that we like to do things, that the world likes to do things, we would be busy every day, working every day, and there would be no time for rest, for worship. And really, that's what the world's driving at these days, is um, take a moment, if you want one, if you can find one, if you can make one, if you can earn one, but our time is very much owned by others. But what God has said is, look, I will give you what is needed uh, to, to, do, to do my work. And so we, we pray in the Lord to, to do the Lord's will. And uh, I want to encourage you uh, today to uh, be engaged for one another and serving one another, looking for those opportunities to, um, to, to take that extra that God has given you, not for yourself, but for what God intends for you. Take those opportunities to be a strength and a strengthening to one another and to bless and encourage one another. And may God bless you in, in the way that you make your Sabbath a place of, of rest, where you come into your own house and to the Lord's house to do the Lord's will and to, to, to celebrate what God has given you and who you are and who your family is and, and who your community of faith is and to see the resource and blessing that they are together, not just for you, but for the way that you will serve the will of God. God bless you.